Hello and welcome back to the channel. The balance of light and dark of course is very important in photography and no more so in the high contrast fine art style. Light and shade are the very building blocks of this kind of photography and shooting in black and white is the perfect way to show off the look as the tonal ranges can be pushed to their extremes. The human shape can be quite fascinating when viewed in silhouette. Its instantly recognisable form can be quite powerful when used amongst other geometric shapes in street scenes. High contrast photography is perfect for this as the paired back style helps to emphasise the shape within its surroundings. Of course backlit scenes are best for shooting silhouettes and I particularly like shooting the human form against imposing backdrops and within the scale of the built up environment where they can be presented as isolated and often fragile like figures. Try to give your subjects a prominent place against your backdrop to give them maximum impact. Look for people who might make interesting shapes. People wearing hats, flowing coats and those carrying bags or even with interesting hairstyles can make the silhouette more interesting within the frame. You want to try and make a real feature of it. Also the way a person walks or their standing pose can look quite exaggerated when seen in silhouette and can create the kind of character that will make the image have a real standout quality. Try to anticipate your subject's movements and shoot in continuous shutter mode to capture a wide range of poses. This shot was taken in Barcelona which is a really great city for street photography. The light is so good there. As well as the bicycle, the cyclist in this picture has two standout features with his hat and the flapping coat. I chose to retain some detail in the surrounding areas of brick and stone as I liked the geometry it offered, so I was careful not to let the shadows get too dark. I saw the potential in this scene and worked out my settings first with a couple of test shots and then waited for the moment to arrive. Exposing for the lightest areas in the frame will help to give your images the high contrast look. You'll often want the shadows to be as dark as possible, eliminating much of the detail there. I shoot in aperture priority at the smallest aperture possible for sharpness and maximum depth of field. I generally underexpose by a third of a stop to help increase the contrast. I'll lock the exposure, reframe the composition and shoot from there. Also in Barcelona, the low camera angle I've used in this shot and the fact that I'm shooting upwards not only allows for a silhouette shot but also gives the character more presence in the scene. The hat becomes a prominent feature and the converging lines of the buildings help to frame the figure too. It's quite easy to dip down behind someone to get the shot you want. You'll have to frame quickly but you often get more than one try. Looking for more unusual backdrops for silhouettes can be very rewarding. Here the spray coming from the water fountains is the perfect backdrop as it catches the light. The cyclist is easily silhouetted in front of it and the scene is a cooling off moment on a warm summer's day. Care must be taken not to lose the detail altogether however. Avoid blowing the highlights. I sometimes like to use pure whites in my pictures but I prefer to make that decision at the editing stage. I prefer to go into the edit with detail in all areas and then adjust according to the final look I want. I may decide that I want more graphic detail in the grey areas to help lift the image and so we'll make the necessary adjustments to achieve this. Groups of people can work well too. Here the ladies in the picture were doing some Tai Chi one morning and the backdrop of the church was a good setting as it looked a bit like they were worshipping. Whenever you see an opportunity such as this, just start shooting. You can adjust your settings as you go if necessary, but you want to get right in there and start capturing. Change your position as you go so that you're maximising the moment. Expose for the lightest areas and just keep shooting. I can't stress this enough, you have to be ready and on your guard. I'm always aware that the sun can disappear in an instant, leaving me with the feeling that I just wasn't quick enough and that is not a nice place to be. A bold look can be achieved through strong shadow areas. Too much detail will weaken the impact of the shapes and forms in the image. Deep shadow areas can also be used as a framing device and help to isolate parts of the image and strengthen the focal point. I particularly like to mix a silhouette with interesting shapes of shadow as it can produce a cool abstract look. 
If you want longer shadows for your characters, then shooting towards the end of the day, when the sun is lower, will be best. Try catching them in front of a setting sun for really dramatic effect. Of course, shooting into the sun can give you lens flare issues, so you may have to be a little careful and alter your position in order to avoid them. Shooting silhouettes at night is great too. There are plenty of opportunities to do this, and it's much easier than trying to capture detail in people, which can be very tricky with moving figures in low light conditions. Again, expose for the lighter areas in the scene, and the silhouette will take care of itself, and so will the shadows. Shooting silhouettes is an easy and fun way to make use of a bright sunny day. Remember to expose for the lighter parts of the scene to keep your figure and your shadows dark. Look for interesting shapes and forms to include in your scene if you want to create a more abstract look. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. To see more of my work, visit my website at www.rupertvandervelde.co.uk and check out my book, Fine Art Street Photography, available at Amazon.